Git clone creates a local copy of a remote repository that already contains code. The code button shows the repository's URL. Adding a dot will clone the remote repository directly into your current local directory. Git clone always creates a local copy of the entire remote repository. The main branch is the checked out branch and only local branch available by default. Git branch -r lists all remote branches Git is aware of locally. Running git fetch before listing remote branches ensures that the listed branches are up to date. With an existing connection between a local and a remote repository, you can set up a new local branch to track a remote branch locally. Use git branch dash dash track to do so. Branch name is the name of the branch in your local repository. Typically, we use the same name as for the remote branch. Origin slash branch name should be the name of the branch as listed with git branch r. Switching between branches works as usual with git checkout or git switch. For the local repository, git pull fetches latest remote repository information. For the currently selected branch, it fetches remote branch information and merges latest information into the local branch. Git push adds and merges your current branch's local changes to the corresponding remote branch. When you want to push code from your local repository to an empty remote repository, use git remote add. Origin is the shorthand for the URL of the remote repository. The URL can be found in the remote repository. Next, git push dash dash set dash upstream adds the current newly created local branch from the local repository to the remote repository. Origin refers to the URL of the remote repository that we just defined. Branch name is the name of the branch in the remote repository and must be equal to the local branch's name. Once the remote branch is created, you can use git pull or git push to exchange information between the local and the remote repository in the corresponding branch.